So there's Bruno. Why is he cooking? We had a full-time chef, and there was a big falling out, and we couldn't afford another chef. Let me order up, Yach. How we doing? I'm all right. How are you? How are we doing? Hi. There's Liz. Liz is a bartender. I love Liz. She was originally a customer. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. Who's that, sir? Peanut. That's, that's our stripper pole. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. <laughs> Yeah, you'd be surprised when he touches, so. No, I'm just saying. There's Chris. She's a big girl. She can handle a big one. Oh, I came out really wrong. I apologize. It pisses a lot of people off. Maybe you shouldn't be working in a bar. It's the most magical place on the planet Earth. It's March. He probably should have been in the kitchen than ever being out on the floor. <laughs> Shots for the bartender. Peanuts drinking. For now. He allows that. He always has. I have never worked behind a bar where I was allowed exactly. to drink. He stays in the kitchen all night long, and that's what happens. She doesn't run the place. So I reached out to about 200 people, and they're in line outside of the bar right now. Oh, my god, are you kidding? I'm simulating that the theater just broke. OK. Because that's one of the built-in opportunities exactly. that this it's bar no has. Brainer. He's got a full staff. Let's see what happens. It's going to get so ugly now. I knew it was going to hit the fan. I knew it. Everybody started coming in, and then we got hit. Then it was like, oh my god, we're going down. Saw we're all going to die with smiles on our face. Oh, I have no idea what's going on right now. I have no idea what I'm doing. Is there people still busy? walking yes, inside? There is. I don't know. This bar is now four deep. Hey, if a shot of Patron made his way back here, we'll be mad. Okay. He's in the kitchen. He doesn't even know what's no, happening. No, he doesn't. Kidding. It's a lot of chaos all at once. Off you from the streets of Glenside. Oh, no. Somebody needs to get her off. Look at them. They're embarrassed. They're going to leave. They're like, what is happening? Do you realize he's embarrassing the bar by allowing this to happen? She's shaking her head, that poor woman. She got applause. But she got applause from the young college students who don't spend money. The adults are ashamed. And he's back there doing what somebody would do for $10 an hour. He's not a smart man. Give me a break. That young lady just got you a free drink. Look at this. Um, 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 what am I doing? There's no systems here. It's been a manual, handwritten system since the minute we opened. It's such a nightmare. It's completely disorganized. Seriously, yeah? Yo, chill the out, for real. Chill the out. I need another drink. Let me tell you something. Chill out. You see everybody else behind you? Chill the out. You'll get it when I get to you. What else you get it when I get to you? Was that to a customer? I think so. You can't treat a guest like that. It does not matter if you're no, busy. it doesn't. Excuse me, coming through. Excuse me. Oh, God you people. Look at the customers. Lots of people waiting. It's a mess. Customer is reaching over the bar and helping herself. It's a free for all. All right, I'm taking five minutes. This yeah. Now, let's see if Bruno helps. He's holding on to oh, the pole. Get the pole. I hope he doesn't touch food after touching that pole. Sure. All right, I got to make some food. Yeah. He's not going out there and running the bar. He's hiding. I haven't seen him wash his hand once. I don't even believe this. He's not even using his gloves. This just should also have the essence of a stripper pole. Oh, no, he put his hand on top of the food. Oh, jeez. Mm. That's disgusting. Order up, Yachts. Every time he touches something, he's contaminating something else. After yeah, these orders, I might kill the kitchen. They just stopped taking orders, Nick. That's the way they do it here. He's facing total economic ruin, and he's drinking a beer. We have to stop this. Rescuing this bar is critical to the economic stability of Claudia, a 10-year-old who's counting on her father to come through, and he's yet to do it. Oh, boy. Sherry's here. Sherry doing shit. He's got Surprise! I think the word shot comes to mind. Seriously? She has no business being here. Say hello to your ex-wife. Turn around and get the out. How do you think he's running this place? 
Not so well. Easy to say from the outside looking in. It's filthy in here. Get out of your mind. Your attitude no. sucks. The pot calling a kettle black. Know, you couldn't bartend because you couldn't make change. Are you kidding well, me? You know what? She's sitting here right now Great. actually trying to help you. No, she's not trying to help me. She's trying to accuse me like she always does. Bull she said a lot of bull for a long time. I'm watching your bartenders drink, girls on stripper poles, and you don't have a clue. And this is what you do. You come into the kitchen and drink. That's how you come through for I your little girl. I think you're so used to fixing bars that you forget what it's like to work place every day. Come on, I've owned more than you'll ever own. I'm sure you have. But I'm saying, you've been doing this for so long, maybe you forget how hard it is to do it on a daily basis. The difference is I won't stand back here and drink. Whoa, I'm hammered. Can't do my job. So you better close for me. I, 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 I drink you don't. OK, John, you know what? You yourself. Let's leave. You're full I can't sit there and listen to lies. I'm your chance, and you blew it. She is such a bitch. It's not even worth it. This is a total waste of time. I'm going to leave you in a better place one way or another. OK? Let's go get some rest. You got that? No. That's Eric. He's a bartender. Oh. So there's Jessica. She's one of our bartenders. Mm -hmm. She's very experienced and could help Maria and Jaime train the staff. But she's impatient and prefers to work alone. You're just in my way. Just know where the f you go. There's Cynthia. So what are you guys up to today? Causing trouble? No, we're, we're putting our cup. And there's Nimra. A lot of bartenders for such a small bar. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. All right. Now it's party time. And in minutes, they've already had shots. Cheers, honey. Whose fault is it that they're having shots? The employees for doing it or high maze for letting them do it? It's management. Okay. They're drinking his mother's future. Hi, how's it going? Hi. There's two women I sent in. Can I get, I'm like a fruity girl. A tequila sunrise or something, those are sweet. Oh, it's a two. It's, it's a two, two. yeah. They're going to order a couple of drinks, and they're going to evaluate this place and give us a good local perspective. That sucks. I just spilled it on my leg. Holy <laughs> It's awful. Oh. Are you ladies gonna take a shot? Yeah. Yeah, take a shot with y'all. Woo! I'm gonna guess 10 minutes from now, these shots are gonna take effect. This is where mistakes get made. Okay, let's go. I see one ice bin, one POS terminal, one soda gun. Oh my goodness, there's only one well back there? There's no space back there. In order to get a drink out, they all have to go to the same well. Look at them back there. That is really cramped quarters. Excuse me, babe. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. What's amazing about a market like this is all these employees get off work at the same time. So I did something I've never done before, Mia. What I did is I got literally a busload of hospitality professionals. Oh my gosh. And it's going to pull up in front of the bar right now, and you're going to walk in, and I'm simulating a shift end. This is amazing. So let's see if Jaime, in fact, can take this bar from his mother or not. I love this idea. Oh, damn. Oh, man. Uh oh. It's just awesome. Really? I know. I'm going to pop it. The wow. bar is now suddenly packed. Like, where is this crowd coming from? I can find it. I can find it. I can find fireball, it. Can fireball, find right it. here. How you doing? I'm scared. We need a medic. Uh, they're deer in headlights. Don't get quiet. Get excited. Load up with some shots. Let's yeah. go. Shot, 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 shot. Here we go. Oh, let's get to work. As the customers are walking in, what are they doing? Shots. The bartenders overserve themselves. This girl yeah. and the manager, they're not doing anything. Let's see what Jaime is doing. Not supporting his staff. He's chilling. He could be bringing some drinks to people in the second or third row, because none of that back of the room has been served. Oh, I'm seeing bad habits already. Ah, that's irresponsible over pouring. And look at how they overserve everyone. You want to make it double? Make it a triple. Triple? Two. Look at the shots they're making. Oh. Those are enormous if those are shots. Look at the size of that's a five, six ounce shot. Wow! I'm like, it's okay. I physically oh God, cannot finish that. Yeah. That's the size of a full cocktail. Why are there more people are in the bar? They can take the orders. I don't know. That is not management. Oh, okay, the people over there. Go make the drinks. Why don't you go make the drinks? We're losing money. Oh, that's not my fault. Every time his mother says something, he shoots her down. Go get some bottles. Huh? Huh? He has no respect for her. What do you do? He acts like he knows everything, but he does nothing. Turn up the way Jaime manages them, 
Look at the staff drinking, customers over drinking. There's no responsibility. And no consequences. Place. It's a complete chain reaction. And it starts with Jaime being responsible to his freaking mother. I want to go in and talk to them. When I see Maria being abused, in essence, by her son, who's not respecting her money, not respecting her opinion, I get angry. Jaime needs to man up and take responsibility for the failure in this bar, and that's what I need to tell him. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. You want me to call him? Working hard, isn't he? Jaime! Jaime! I know you're really paying attention to your business, but I'm standing here. Would you mind coming and talking to me? So, come here. Do you understand your mom is in debt about $200,000? You understand that? Yes, sir, I do. Do you understand that she could lose her house? Have you trained these employees? We're short staff, man. Everyone's new, so some people are just are Have you learning. trained these employees? you yes or no did he maria yes or no no okay next does he treat it responsibly to protect your business no i think i did a You're lot man i threw flyers around the whole city you don't take ownership of this failure think about it you failed she's telling you you failed it's a matter of perspective you have nothing but excuses and you're a lazy asshole who stands there and talks down to your mother. And she's gonna lose her house because of your excuses. Grow up! Just forgot what I came back here for. We have T-Bear, who's the front of the house manager, whatever the hell that means. Right. Son of a There's Megan. She's a bartender. Why did I just pour three fireballs because I'm not paying attention? No, most of the There's MJ. She's a bartender. I could be speaking Portuguese right now, and she chose Utah. Thanks, Mom. There's Amea. She's your cook. Yay, thank you. There's Cristela. Cook. So we have Noel, who's a part-time manager and the daughter of Bill. Do you know in table numbers? Because that's how I do everything. Um, no, that'd be great. They, um, so those are the 60s? 11s. This so is 60s. 10s to 60s. Yes. Yeah. Look at those chicken wings. Aren't they all supposed to be one color? One side shouldn't be darker than the other. Now, sure, the chef. That could be the frost bit part of the chicken burning quicker than the rest of the bird. John, just looking at this, there's not a leader, there's not a manager, there's nobody teaching them, and this is kind of like, shit. No, they're not gonna notice. Send it out anyways, right? So guys, this is a big bar. Mm -hmm. We've seen that their food isn't quite up to snuff, right? Mm -hmm. We're not sure they know how to cook properly. The drinks are awful, we can see that. Yeah. There's a lack of training. We don't see Bill engaged at all. But we can't see much more. This place is so big and there's only like five customers in there. So I did something tonight for recon, guys. I got 50 people for recon, 50. I want to see what Bill does. Does Bill move quick when a bar is busy? Does he interact with his kitchen when it's busy? Sure. Does he check his ticket times? Is Bill, in fact, engaged in this operation? I want to see if Bill jumps behind the bar, don't you? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. She waited a long time and didn't even get food. That bugs me. I'd like the two of you guys to go up to the front of that line. Is everybody thirsty? Oh, yeah. Yeah and walk all those 50 people in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys earpieces. Rob, if you can hear me, touch your nose. T-Bear, do we have anybody working the door? Oh my God. And now I have to go down here for ice. Bartenders, the bartenders already getting mad right now. Jesus Christ. Raise your hand and sort of ask for a drink aggressively if you don't mind. We get two bottles? We get two. This guy is such an ass. I need the screwdriver. Can we get a beer here? Yeah. Yeah. Give me one second. Don't uh, stuff your in the face. Red shirt, guy. So instead of getting a beer, they both walk in the back. Can you do a mule? Yeah. What so, kind? Like a, a whiskey mule. Sure. What's up, bro? Where's my hug? <laughs> <laughs> Good seeing you, brother. Look at this. 
Oh, look at manager boy. Our boy over here is hugging people, but he's not helping the bar. Tea bear, I need raspberry vodka. Hey, you're hugging people, can I hug you? I, I, mean, shit, I don't see you doing anything else, so I might as well hug you. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Is this yours? This is mine, I'm Bill. Bill? Yeah. Owner? Nice meeting you. Hey, I'm Rob. So this is yours? Yes. Yeah, well, it owns but me right now. It owns you, but you have a lot of people that are waiting on drinks. You make drinks? Can you make drinks? I can make shots. So you don't know how to make drinks? What? You don't know how to make drinks? I'm very ill-prepared Ill for behind the bar. You're ill-prepared for behind the bar? That's something I'm working on, yeah. But you yeah. own the bar? Yes. But you can't make drinks? Uh, I can make some How drinks. long have you owned the bar? Two years. When do you think it's time to learn to make drinks? Do you think it's time to maybe learn Probably. to make drinks? Yeah. How do you manage cocktails if you don't know how to make them? Um, I've relied on the expertise of other people. And no, I am uh, I, one of the reasons. Was that bad? Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, There's no expertise. This drink sucks. It's my problem. Yeah. I get it. Well, if it's all because of Bill, I'm going to talk to Bill. I'm gonna go check the kitchen, because that tastes like shit. Damn. Well, Mr. Tapper. Hi, Bill. I have a guy in here who's apparently a nice guy. Yes. But you're not a nice guy when you take $300,000 from your in-laws and do nothing to pay it back. That's fair. Are you? That's fair. If I owed my in-laws $300,000, I'd learn how to make a Right. Yeah, How come you didn't? You I have no money? excuse. None whatsoever. So no. are you a failure? No. Well, you're failing That's here. why I called you guys. That's, oh, so I'm supposed to solve your problem that for two I, years you didn't learn a freaking thing? I need a direction. You That's need a direction. Need. Here's your direction. Learn! Learn how to do something, and you can help yourself. Tomorrow night, I'm going to have a stress test here. Why don't you run this frickin' place, then? You took their money. Okay. I expect okay. you to make drinks tomorrow night. And when we come in in the morning, the first thing you're going to do is make Rob a perfect mule. And if you can't make a perfect mule, you're the jackass. There's Michelle. Brendan, she's the owner. So there's Kevin and Brendan. That's Michelle's husband. There's Diana, she's our kitchen manager. And she works with her son, Joey, the cook. There's Elise, she's the assistant manager. How we doing, guys, all right? Uh, I, don't know. I hear you, you. No one respects her. The recipe for disaster. Well, let me tell you what I did tonight, guys. I got 200 people gonna walk through that door any minute. We'll see what happens in the kitchen. We'll get to see the bartenders behind the bar, and we'll get to hear some comments between customers. Absolutely. They have no idea what's about to happen to them. And here we go, guys. They're still coming in. I'm going to time this. Everybody's been in a room for about a minute. The line oh. all the way down oh, to the end of the street. They're just setting up right now, yet there's 200 people already in the bar. I mean, this should have all been done prior to that. <laughs> So they've been open a half hour now, and I don't think half the room has drinks. What is that good? I, was, I had two tickets I was looking at, and I grabbed two different things. This is all up. I made exactly what I was supposed to. Elise, not looking at the slips once again. They're blowing it. I know you're definitely waiting on your drinks. I'm so sorry. He's your husband. I'm not making him get me money. I don't know where he is. I'll grab it. I wonder where Kevin is. So as the business is sinking, he's sitting down there. That's no good. This looks disgusting. It's interesting. These guys have got a world famous uh, clam chowder and lobster roll place next door. I can't understand why they will try and even compete. It's, it's embarrassing. Yep. Guys, you have ticket times right now, please? What is this, uh, a joke? I'm tired. We're all feeling a little frustrated. We've been waiting for an hour for drinks. I'm running out of patience right now. I'd already be gone. Even when they have the opportunity, they're not seizing it. I'm just practicing my, my deep breathing right now. 
I got one owner, Kevin, who's standing there talking to his friend while his wife is sinking behind the bar. You know what, Brandon? We've seen enough, buddy. Yeah. Okay, let's go inside. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. So, John. Hey! You know I sent these people in here, right? I had an idea. How far in debt are you? Over 200000 over two hundred thousand dollars. Is there any way you're going to make this money back when you can't serve people in forty minutes? No. Where's Kevin? Has he been helping you? Um. Kevin. I'm John. I'm watching you standing here talking to your friend in a white sweatshirt as he's sinking. Do you want to kiss your money goodbye, or do you want to fight for it? Of course not. I don't want to fight for it. Is this the way you fight for it? No. So you're not fighting for it. This place is a disorganized mess, and the customers are getting more and more disappointed by the moment. If this is your dream, you gotta fight for it harder, guys, because right now you just lay it over and die. You strike me as a strong guy. Yeah, I get it. Is he? Sometimes. Sometimes? Can he help you with this place? He could. Is he? No. Well, that's an issue in itself, isn't it? How do you like it when she says that? I don't like it at all. Listen up, everybody! Close this place. You guys come back after I fix it. And then you tell me what you think, okay? Thank you. So there's bread. We'll take a beer and a shot. I'm guessing that's one of many beers for the night. <clears throat> you guys need help with anything? You good? So that's Brad's daughters, Courtney and Paige. It's awful in here. I'm dirty. Courtney used to be the general manager of this bar. She was doing pretty well when she ran it a few years ago, but Brad wouldn't let her do anything. So she got so stifled, she quit. He's going down the tubes, and the bar that his father built is probably gonna be closed in the next month or two if we can't rescue this. I'll have one more of these. There's Elisa. She's a bartender. How's it going, guys? Good, thank you. So that's the Berg system that they're using to pour their cocktails. Oh, gotcha. In the state of Utah, you not only have to track your sales, you have to track your ounces. The Berg system makes all of that compliant because it tracks every ounce and it makes sure that every ounce that's poured is in the POS system. And you can't be off. You can lose your liquor license. Wow. They do not take these things lightly. So guys, for recon tonight, I got players from Utah Royals which is the state soccer yeah. team. Yeah. What I wanted to do tonight is I'm gonna have a couple of the girls come in. I'm gonna wait a few minutes, have a couple more girls come in. I wanna see if Brad notices this influx of business. So here are our first two girls. What can I get for you guys? Do you guys have any like house specials? Like um, we have a, a watermelon based house I'll try. drink. I'll try that, yeah. You can tell by the glass that drink sucks. This is a pint glass. It's made for beer, not a cocktail. It's just not gonna work. Can I get a gimlet, please? Oh, God. Um, I don't know what a gimlet is. Oh. It's a classic. It's a gin drink, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. I've worked here 16 years and never had anyone order one. Never had someone order a gimlet? I have never made one in my entire life. Okay. Do you want to help me out? Should um, I look it up? Oh, God. Can I just do uh, whiskey sour? I don't know what that is. I don't know. You can't make a whiskey sour that fast. Who's the color of that? That's not a whiskey sour. <laughs> Our drinks definitely look like <laughs> You can have my cherry. Oh, you did get a cherry. And a whiskey sour? Yeah, she was like, let's just put this drink in a small world. <laughs> They're laughing at this place. Yeah. Pissing me off. Oh, right. Ridiculous. Is she like leaving, leaving? She just walked out. Like, I think she's like done. Whoa. Brad just had an employee walk out and he didn't even notice. What's up, Jack? Matt? Okay, let's send in two more girls. Brad still has no idea that these girls are even in this bar. I'm getting already liquored up. OK, so guys, we got four girls. So I also have 15 people waiting in the street. OK. Just regular customers, so I'm sending them in now. Brad now has a fully packed bar and an employee walked out. What does it take for him to even notice this? I'm going to pull out one bartender. OK, let's see what happens. 
take Teresa, the bartender, outside. I wonder how long it takes Brad to notice this. How long would it take you to notice it? I'd already be up and be like, hey, Teresa, where are you going? Maybe he can help you. Just kind of disappeared. So I got the soccer team and 15 customers, and I'm pulling bartenders, and let's see what Brad does. Oh. We could do a shot. Pull another bartender. Pull one more bartender. <laughs> Getting up. Where's he going? Let's follow Brad. Did you just let her out? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm still looking for our server. <laughs> I've pulled every bartender except for Devin. And he's the, the last one. You ready? Yeah. Pull the last one. Is it corn? Uh, Here you go. All right, well. <laughs> every employee is gone. Oh my gosh. Any owner who doesn't notice that their <laughs> bar is packed and there's no employees either doesn't care or is an idiot. Where all the bartenders go? Guess I can help out. Well, I actually oh. His daughter just jumped behind the bar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can I get some change? Yes. So now I'm going to pull them too. Take the daughters out as well. There is not one employee in that building. Are you freaking serious? I mean, this is kind of hard to watch. Not for Brad. <laughs> I pulled every employee out of this bar. I put about 22 customers in the bar. They're not being served. And Brad is sitting on his butt in a booth oblivious to all of this. You know what? I'm going to go sit with him. Why should you stand up now? You've been sitting on your ass all night. <clears throat> you understand there's not one employee in the building right now? All of them are gone at once. Oh, I imagine I thought they were going to come back in. So if they never come back, you're just going to sit here all night? You have people there that are not being served. I can't serve them because I've been drinking. If you were drinking, could you serve them? Yes. You know how to make the drinks? Do you know how to use the cash register? No. You've owned this bar for 20 years, and you don't know how to use the cash register. No. What would your father be doing differently than you right now? Because it was successful for him for almost 40 years, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Did he train his employees? Yeah. Did he make sure the recipes were followed, and the food was good, and the drinks were good? Yeah. Brad. Was he sitting on his ass when he was doing those things? No. Why did you not protect your father's legacy? So the two of them buy this bar. So they own the land, they own the building, two and a half million dollar investment, and they're losing $6,000 a month. So they buy this place, they never come here. And when they are here, Victor watches his own bar from a monitor in his upstairs office. Either they're so independently wealthy that they don't give a shit about the $6,000 a month, or something is just completely illogical about the situation. Oblivious. There's them, there's the bar. Can I get a spicy margarita? Buffalo wings. That's Devin, she's the manager. Have that crayon over here. So that's Victor, Victor's a server. So these are our two bartenders. Got two shots. That's Shonda. So that's Jessica. Alex, look at the foam. So much waste. Oh, geez. 20, 30% of that beer went down a drain. They're probably losing two to three pitchers just in the first pour alone. It's gonna take five beers to fill it up. So they can't make money. How long would it take you to see that? Immediately, if you're looking. How long would it take you to see that? I mean, seconds. You'd notice it from across the room if you were in the room. Look at them. They have no idea. And there's one thing about golf communities. The average golfer makes $100,000 a year. Good income level. Very good. The other interesting thing about golfers is over 70% of them eat out once a week. Oh, you know, like the perfect yeah, audience great, when you right? think about that it. That makes sense. Butter. So I got about 30 of them on their carts. 
And I want to show these people the potential that they could have if they seized it. I'm going to drive in with these guys, and let's see what happens when the golfers hit the fan. I'd like to see a hole in one. Telfer. And did he come in? Whose beer is that? It's mine. I haven't tasted it. Is it right? Is it cold? Because it looks a little flat. Doesn't look right, is it? They ordered margarita. You ordered a margarita. And I sent it back. And you sent it back. So now you got a beer. Drink Who's a beer drinker here? Come here, you're a beer guy. Try this. Is that, is that right for you? Yeah. A little flat. You notice when she pours a beer, 30% of it goes down a drain. Where are the owners, he said. Have you guys seen the owner? Have you guys seen the owner? That's not the bartender. Has she seen the owner? He's going to come barging in here. Where the hell is the owner? I brought about 35 golfers in here. They live across the street. They should love that they're here. They should treat them that way. Let's see how they react to this. Now this gets real. How is this? I think it's frozen. I'm like 90 percent sure. What if I told you that was cooked in a microwave? Would you believe it based on the way it felt in your mouth? May I? Go for it. Anybody want to eat this? Somebody should apologize. Where's the owner? Good question. Have any of you seen the owner anywhere? No. If you want to come by, Jimmy, here. And come here. Back to the You're just gonna make it piss off more. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm okay. Have you seen what's going on downstairs? I have. So did you notice them dumping beer down the drain? I did. Did you notice the food going to the wrong tables? Well, no. You're losing about $6,000 a month, right? Correct. Correct. Do you like giving away $75,000, $80,000 a year? I don't. We always intended for it to run well. We got in over our heads or something. So you're failing? Yes. Totally. So when you're failing, failing at something, do you pull away from it? Or do you go into it? And you should go into it. it. But you're not. I can't turn this around, Victor, for you to sit up here as it's failing down there. Come downstairs with me. Let's look I, at this. I, I don't want to walk down there. Why? There's, I mean, why do people make fun? I mean, ridiculous. Well, if you don't want to walk down there, then I'm not going to walk down there either. I'll leave. It happens my way, not yours. Are you ridiculizing in front of everybody? I might. Maybe you deserve it. We've already come this far. Let's just do it. You don't come downstairs. I just leave. Victor, it's up to you. Such a big decision. You want to lose your business or not? I'll come with you. Okay, let's do it. Excuse me, guys. If you guys could make room so we can get behind the bar, that would be yeah. perfect. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Here's the owner I was looking for. Did they come through for you tonight? You need to hear this, Victor. If Victor and Laura took control and made this place good, would you come back? Yeah! So it's up to you, Victor. This is your employees. They're counting on you to help them make a living. You're not. Doesn't that mean something to you? Don't you want to come through for them? Of course I do. Well, then 
can do it. You help me, I will. If I help you, I want you to be here every day with me. Starting tomorrow. I'm gonna work your ass off. Welcome to the restaurant business. Welcome to the restaurant business. Go bust the table. Bust their table. Clean this table. Go clean their table. Go to work, for Christ's sakes. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.